Today, it was the music. Yesterday, it was the touch of a loved one. Or not. Every morning, I ask myself, what's the first thing I can remember? A few days ago, I recalled the sensation of rubbing paper against my left cheek and the distinct smell of old books. Speaking of which, I remember a big book, one from my father's collection of thousands. According to my mother, I started eating pages from the book when I was around five. As years went by, I would regularly sneak into my father's study and rip out pages from the book to satiate my ever-growing hunger for it. One by one. By the time I was 15, my parents would discover that I had devoured almost the entire book. I remember a young girl and a young boy who moved like the wind and swept her off her feet with a smile. I remember lovers singing. I remember a girl who found a boy. They held hands and went on a journey to the land of dreams. I remember a woman and a man. Through stolen glances and shy smiles, love flourished. But then there were lovers who hated. There were children who never arrived. There were deaths. Thank you so much, John. First of all, let's start with uh, the late Dr. Sweet's daughter. I remember something about a lady, lonely and lost. At the brink of her sanity, she turned to the unknown. One day, the unknown responded. Her neighbors say they recall seeing a boy in the lady's house sometimes. They claim they saw him playing around saw him grow up over the months and years. Saw him disappear. <laughs> I don't remember how long I've been spending my days like this, piecing together memories. Maybe of a life, maybe of a distant dream, or maybe of words on a page. We might have just one life, or maybe we have thousands that we live through love, through pain, through grief, through smiles, through dreams. <laughs> 